morning and welcome to Day Smash, your local area news. You may have heard of hipsters that are sweeping the nation with their experimental dress and lifestyle, but this particular case will shock you. Sylvia Quentin, a recent art graduate from North Yorkshire, is in critical condition after refusing to eat food, drink water or even use the toilet as she feared this was too mainstream. Our health correspondent Billy Morgan investigates. This is Sylvia Quinton, an art graduate from Leeds who has taken her hipster lifestyle to a dangerous new level. Sylvia is not eating, drinking or using a toilet because they are too mainstream. Doctors have given her two days to live, but Sylvia is refusing treatment. I've been diagnosed with being terminally pretentious, but I'd rather die an athlete than a low culture white trailer trash. The symptoms of hipster syndrome vary from person to person, but some of the common features are a rejection of the mainstream and the growing of a beard. It is estimated that around 77.3% of people under 30 are suffering from hipster syndrome. She was always such a good lass, but it was when she went to that bloody university that it all changed. I don't think my parents really understood the concept of our experimental avant-garde cinema piece that we did where I didn't eat for three days and then was s**t on and de by a horse. Of course it affects all of us, I mean, we just want what's best for her, you know, well, obviously we do. Um, but the way she's going on, we can't cope. The doctors, the hospitals, they won't help anymore. Uh, what, what can we do? This is not a sickness, this is art. And food and water are just, ah, oh, they're so mainstream. To be honest, I think it's absolutely disgusting. I think she needs to get herself down the pit and have a serious word with herself. Culture is dying and I want to die with it. <laughs> oh. Oh. With two days left, we're hoping Sylvia can get better soon. This was Billy Morgan reporting from Leeds for Day Smash. Shocking footage there. Thank you, Billy. I hope that report was enough to change our perception of hipsters and their experimental lifestyle. Please tune in to Day Smash next week where we will be investigating the link between diarrhea and Abraham Lincoln. In the meantime, happy smashing. Day Smash!